guys, welcome back. So we were at the farmer's market the other day and we saw these beautiful strawberries and we decided to make some strawberry shortcakes. To make the strawberry shortcake, you really want to use the best strawberries you can find. I'm using Harry's Berries today. These are grown in Oxnard, California and they're beloved by a lot of restaurant chefs. We're going to start by making the shortcakes. In this mixing bowl, I have my all-purpose flour. I'm going to add my light brown sugar and the granulated sugar, as well as baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Give that a mix. Add in your cold and cubed butter. Start working the butter into the flour. You want to do that by pressing and breaking the butter into little pieces with your fingers. You want to keep doing that until your butter pieces are like pea size, but make sure you work really fast. Now add your buttermilk and heavy cream mixture and start tossing them together. Repeat this step a couple more times. Now dump your dough onto a flour work surface and start pressing it together with the heel of your hands. It's going to look very shaggy and you're going to think this is not going to work but don't worry, it'll come together. Now using a bench scraper, we're going to do a letter fold with the dough like this. This is going to create layers in your shortcakes, kind of like making pie dough. As you can see here, by pressing and folding it a couple times, the dough is starting to come together. Now we're going to cut it in half and stack them on top of each other to create even more layers. Now press it down and flatten it with your hand. And use the bench scraper to help shape it into a rectangle. And then we're going to roll the dough out to about an inch thick. Again, use the bench scraper to help shape the dough. We're going to cut the dough into six even pieces. I'm trimming off the edges, but you don't have to. I just think it looks prettier. Before baking these, you want to chill them in the freezer so they hold their shape better during baking. While your dough is chilling in the freezer, we're going to make the macerated strawberries. Cut your strawberries into little pieces and then toss in some granulated sugar. Now we're going to zest some lemon. Your lemon doesn't have to be a mutated monster like this, just a normal sized one is fine. This is totally optional, but I like to add a little bit of balsamic vinegar to bring out the strawberry flavor. If you don't like it, you could just leave it out. Give this a good toss. Now pop this in the fridge and let it rest before we move on to our next step. And during the resting period, the sugar is going to draw all the juices from the strawberries. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now we're gonna make our own whipped cream. First, I'm going to add one and a half ounces of cream cheese because it adds texture, tang, and stabilization to our finished product. Next, add the sugar. A hand mixer works too, or if you want to skip the gym, use a whisk. Now, with your mixer on low, slowly add your heavy cream. know when your whipped cream is finished when a pointy tip forms at the end of your mixer like so. We're ready to bake our shortcakes. Take them out of the freezer and pop them onto a sheet tray lined with parchment paper. Brush them with heavy cream. I'm just using my finger here. If you have a brush, use it. Sprinkle some raw sugar on top. You can also use regular white sugar, but I like the crunchiness of the raw sugar. 
Bake these in a preheated 375 degree oven for about 25 minutes or until golden brown. 